Kay here with VPX Baseball, and today I'm going to talk about the hot topic of launch angles, right? What is a launch angle? How does it affect your swing and all of that, right? You can check out our other videos on launch angle and all the things that we're going to put into this video for you on our YouTube. We've got a great lineup of uh, videos that hopefully you'll find value in, right? As a former major league pitcher, I had to understand launch angles. I had to understand all of these things that go into this because it was my job. If I didn't understand it, I couldn't pick it out. I didn't know how to potentially teach it. I wouldn't have been at that level for the, the, those many years, right? Ultimately speaking, let's just talk about what an actual launch angle is, right? I'm gonna put this to the side here and you can see it all across the web. You can see it on ESPN, everybody talking about it. It's a new craze, right? But Here's what launch angle is. It's basically just matching pitch plane and creating an angle in your swing that is a little flatter in order to be able to hit that ball effectively, right? Because at the end of the day, let's just go right here on this pitch, that ball's kind of coming in this, at this plane, right? Somewhere in here, it's not gonna be flat. I come down on the ball, right? Come down on it. I have more of, a, more of an opportunity to hit a ground ball, right? If I match plane a little better and I get in here and match the plane, right? Match it somehow, some way. I'm obviously not going to match it like this because this is not effective. But somewhere in this range, right? Somewhere in that range, then I'm going to have a better opportunity to meet the ball properly, right? On, not only on its pitch plane, but also it gives me more variations or more degrees of error in order to be successful. Um, it's a hot topic. It's one that truly, I'm telling you, truly is not understood. Uh, a lot of people out there are saying their, their theories and they might be wrong, they might not, but the data is not truly um, theorem based. It's all theory based, right? I'm in a lot of hitting meetings, a lot of analytics meetings, um, I talk a lot of, of, of the, about the launch angles at the pro and college levels. Um, and what I can tell you is what I just told you. They have a lot of data. They don't truly understand. They just have a, a, an idea and they're trying to formulate as they go. Just needs a lot of time to sink in. Uh, my years in the big leagues were in the late 90s, 2000s, that kind of gig. And we had launch angles back then. We didn't necessarily define it as a launch angle, but we understood what a flatter swing was and what more of an angular swing was, right? The old approach was basically to come down and then stay through, okay? The new approach is to slot early and to be flatter on the back end with your swing. Personally speaking, I think a lot of hitters back in the day and even with the Babe Ruths of the day had that because they understood that they're trying to create plate coverage. In order to create plate coverage, you're trying to bring your barrel in the zone earlier and keep it there longer. That's plate coverage. Forward to back, the inside outside would just be out in, bringing your hands, moving your hands. But the barrel which hits the ball, barrel manipulation and barrel whip, I'm trying to bring it in earlier and keep it there longer. Let's be real. Hitters throughout time that were impact style hitters, didn't swing like this. They did not swing like that, okay? That's just impossible. Well, if they did, they're not gonna be there very long or they're not trying to do that. They might have started where they're coming down, but at some point in their swing, they were gonna slot and flatten the barrel in order to, to be able to hit that baseball properly, right? This flat portion. As a pitcher, I'm telling you, got thousands and thousands of at-bats from a big league mound, from a division one college mound at UCLA. And I can tell you, the best hitters in the game, this is what I saw with their swing, okay? That's what I saw. The flatter I saw and the more that I saw the barrel throwing at me and staying online, the more I got a little like, hey, I gotta put my big boy pants on to try to get this guy out. The less that I saw where it was more in and out of the zone, or more this way coming down and around, I was like, thanks for being in the lineup. As long as I can kind of make my pitch in the zip code that I'm looking for, I got you out most of the time, right? So again, the longer my barrel is in the zone and the flatter my swing is, 
the better I'm going to be. That's what all hitters are trying to accomplish since Babe Ruth. You hear them talking about trying to keep their barrel in the zone as long as possible. Not flat in the zone, but in the zone. In order to do that, they just know inherently that it's not this way, okay? It's going to be an early slot and making sure that I command this barrel, okay? So here's the other aspect to launch angle. Launch angle can be defined as commanding the barrel of the bat, which is what hits the ball, not hitting with a 10-inch barrel, 10-inch bat, but a 33-inch bat, the last 15 inches of the barrel, of the bat, which is the barrel, commanding that as long as I can and as early as I can, right? As early and as late, as long as I can. How do I do that? Well, I can't command it like this because it's just going to take me down, especially when I'm swinging. I can't really do it like this. The best way to command this barrel, if I'm moving in the planes and the movement planes that I am as a hitter, right, is this. This is how I command. This is, this right here is balance. This right here is not balance. I feel really off balance here. This right here is balance. Okay, hence, launch angle, matching it, slotting, right? Some guys slot big time, some guys slot a little, but basically slotting early and then also creating a lot of separation. That's why you see a lot of guys, they have this line right here, goes all the way here, that are good hitters. They're like, bam, create a lot of separation so the hips can move within that properly, as well as the hands stay back. And then it gives me the ability to slot early and slot deep and make sure that my barrel can work in that deep portion of the plate, which is where a lot of good hitters work, in this deep portion. Now, are they trying to hit that ball there? No. They're gonna get the ball right in here and out front a little more, but they're trying. You can't just come into the zone right here and then expect. You gotta get there in preparation to hit the ball. This portion of the zone right here for hitters, for good hitters, is preparing your barrel to match launch angle or match aim pitch plane. So therefore you're creating your launch angle back here and then you're going into the pitch, okay? So essentially there's two parts to a launch angle. There's the preparation or the slotting, right? So a good hitter is gonna go like this, boom, he's gonna slot. Now he's created that launch angle, right? Boom, right here. He's created his angle. If the ball's lower, he's gonna get it in here more, right? He's gonna get there a little more. If the ball's more where he can see it, he's not gonna be like this. He's just athletically gonna be somewhere in this range. So he's starting. And then from this point to this point where we're creating barrel lag, right? We're creating barrel lag. That's the preparation. That's where you're setting your barrel up to be able to match that launch angle properly, right? Or create that launch angle and match pitch plane. So again, in review, be very cognizant about people who are speaking incorrectly about launch angles and saying that you should create your launch angle. That's incorrect. Your launch angle is created based upon pitch plane and how it moves through the zone, how it cuts the zone, what you're trying to accomplish in that actual particular at bat, that particular frame, your actual swing, your muscular response, and more importantly, how much separation and spread, how much hip move, how much um, stride length, all of these things play into how to manipulate your launch angle, right? Don't consciously try to create a launch angle. Don't consciously sit here, okay, low, I'm gonna be in this, no. Try to manipulate what you're doing with your body, especially your lower half, and especially your separation, in order to hit that ball better. And then naturally, you will start seeing that you're matching plane earlier and got a better launch angle for it. If you're working that up out over the plate, the $10 million pitch right here, okay? Which would be this one, all right? On this one on the launch angle, if I'm just doing what it takes in order to hit that, I'm gonna slot early, I'm gonna bring it here, I'm gonna prepare my barrel to hit this, and then at the point, when I go from barrel lag to throwing my barrel at it, I've prepared properly and then bam, off I go. But if you're trying to actually train your launch angle to that, you're working backwards because then you're doing too many things that are not athletic and will not correlate into a game that goes quicker, stronger, and faster. And remember, 
At VPX, we ain't trying to create a hitter or a guy who just hits the baseball or gets some, some time on the field. We're trying to create an impact hitter, an impact guy that no matter what type of pitcher's on the mound, they can still compete. And we do that by working ground up, right? This inside pitch here, if we've got this inside, okay? I'm not gonna manually and consciously try to create a launch angle to hit that. Therefore, if I do that, then it's mechanical, it's not gonna play on the field. What I'm gonna do is try to create more separation, maintain my real estate a little better, and then slot, right? And on this pitch, I'm gonna slot real early, right? Because I've gotta bring my hands in to hit this inside pitch. So I'm not gonna slot as early as I would on an outside pitch because I'm on an outside, I don't need to bring my hands in as much. I need more extension, right? Inside pitch, I'm gonna slot early. Outside pitch, okay? Outside pitch, not as much. I'm gonna slot right in here. Inside, I'm gonna slot earlier and closer, right? So therefore I can get to this and keep it fair, okay? So ultimately speaking, Right, there's a lot of information out there. Not saying it's all right, all wrong, but I am saying this. The one thing that is wrong is that you don't consciously create a launch angle. The second thing that I'm saying is you've got to use the back portion of your slotting in your barrel lag creation, right, from here to here, to set your launch angle up, okay? You can't start by right here. You've got to set it up early. Set it up early, then you're bringing the barrel, and then from that position, you'll be in a great uh, opportunity to do damage on inside and outside pitches with the right launch angles that are subconsciously uh, developed through what you're doing in your lower half and your separation, right? Check out our other videos. We've got a bunch of them on launch angle here. Um, and then if you need some, some products, that kind of stuff, we've got a full line of products that'll get you to the big ones.